In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how much Social Security and SSDI will get now based on this new announcement. That's the focus of this video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. All right, now in this video, I have a bunch of numbers to share with you that translate into real dollars for the beneficiaries as this new announcement is now suggesting higher benefits and a bigger raise. I'm not sure about you, but that's always very exciting when I see information like this because ultimately beneficiaries need a whole lot more money right now. Just look back at any report, any survey, or your own personal situation. The last couple of years here have been really rough financially for the beneficiaries. Well, I'm going to break it all down for you here in this video, give you the numbers based on this report here and what we can foresee in the coming future here over the coming months and weeks and what this means for your higher benefits going forward. Again, pretty exciting in my opinion. Let's talk through the details. However, really Really, really fast before we do thanks for joining me if you have not done so yet make sure to do yourself a huge huge favor hit that subscribe button right down below the video it's totally free to do so i'm here for you right by your side every single day to do the research to break it all down in these videos to answer your questions to advocate on your behalf and do whatever i possibly can to help you navigate this time and again like i said before we need to stick together right now it's a rough time out there anyway thank you so much for being here i truly appreciate literally every one of you here in this community thank you so much please subscribe down below and uh let's talk through the details all right so there's a report that came out talking about how much inflation has gone up as of recently. Now, are your benefits tied to inflation? Uh, yes, they are, okay? Here's what it comes down to. You know this, but again, let me reiterate really quickly here. Your benefits increase as a result of inflation based on the third quarter of the year, July, August, and September. Well, as I film this video right now, those months are still a few months out from right now, okay? We are not within those months as I film this video. However, I've mentioned this before and I wanna say it really quickly, which is, lead up to those months, we're already starting to see inflation ticking up quite a bit more right now. Well, if we can project out into the future based on how much inflation has gone up just in the last handful of months here, we're projecting that inflation, if it continues at the same trajectory that it's at now, may be sitting the high 4% range or right around that 5% by the time we get into those three critical months. That's very important to understand, right? Remember, inflation does not just go up 4% overnight. It just doesn't happen that way, right? It ticks up a little bit. Three Three tenths of a percent here, half a percent there, six tenths of a percent there, and before you know it, you've gone up a few percentage points, right? Anyway, long story short, the new reports are now coming in suggesting, as of right now, a potential 2.4% COLA based on the most recent inflation data for next year, okay? I know, 2025 is a long time away. However, that's why I continue to say, let's watch these numbers very closely because as these numbers continue to tick higher, we may be seeing a significantly higher COLA uh, based on those three months, July, August, and September, than we were anticipating coming into this year, 2024. Anyway, let me break down the real numbers for you because last month, uh, just one month ago, we were looking at a potential COLA increase of just 1.7%. In one month's time, it's gone from 1.7 to 2.4 as the projection. That's a 7 tenths of 1% increase. That's pretty nice in one month alone, okay? Anyway, I want to break the numbers down for you here really quickly and give you some actual numbers behind this as far as if we were to get a 2.4% uh, sorry, a 2.4% COLA, what that would translate into as far as real dollars into the bank accounts of beneficiaries, okay? Now, obviously, there's a bunch of other factor, uh, factors we need to take into consideration, which would be, is it really 2.4% or is it really more like three and a half or four or 4.9 or 5.6? Whatever it happens to be when we get to that time, we don't know quite yet, but um, this is what it's based on right now. And again, inflation is moving higher. We just got some more infl uh, inflation data the other day. The PPI, which is not the CPI, this PPI, which is producer price index. And that's a very important metric as well, because that shows how much inflation is going up on the wholesale level. Well, guess what? Do you think the wholesale inflation flows back to us, the consumer, at the retail level? <laughs> yes, the answer is yes, okay? <laughs> wholesale, by the way, is business selling to business, and then retail is us buying from business, right? We all know this, but again, that's very important. So PPI inflation is still going up a lot. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting off track here, but uh, I, I just wanna explain all that stuff because it's seriously, it's very important to understand. All right, so let's run through the numbers here really quickly. I'm gonna buzz through these here. I've already ran the calculations based on a 2.4% COLA, and then I can tell you this much. It's probably gonna be higher than that based on the current uh, numbers right now. But based on this, this is what we're looking at. All right, so let me run through these numbers for you. If you're receiving a $600 monthly benefit right now, applying a potential 2.4% COLA would increase your benefits by $14 a month. That's not a ton, but it's certainly better than nothing. And it's certainly better than 1.7% raise as we talked about about a month ago. All right, now next. 
If you're getting a $700 monthly benefit, applying a potential 2.4% COLA would increase your benefits by $17 a month. Next, $800 monthly benefit. If you're receiving $800, applying a potential 2.4% COLA would increase your benefits by $19 a month. Next, $900 benefit. If you're receiving $900, you're uh, applying a potential 2.4% COLA would increase your benefits by $21 a month which by the way, $21 a month is about, oh, what is that? Um, oh, I should have done the math, sorry. Um, 250-ish dollars. Sorry, I'm a little off on my game here. About $260 actually. It's about $260 a month, so sorry. <laughs> I had to run the math really quick. All right, or sorry, not a month, a year, okay? That translates into about $260 a year, sorry. All right, now next, if you're receiving $1,000 right now, applying a potential 2.4% COLA would be an extra $240, or sorry, uh, sorry, said the math wrong. Okay, $24 a month, which would actually be, what is that, 200 and um, about $280 for the year, roughly, give or take a little bit right there, okay? So you can clearly see right here, these numbers are coming in a little bit better. About a month ago, I came out and broke down the numbers for you as far as how much it would be for a 1.7% COLA. You saw in that video, the numbers were really bad. They were very pathetic. They were very, very low, right? Well, now we can start to see this ticking up more. Now, just let's say this much, okay? Really quickly here, and then I'm gonna let you go, which is this much. If this is what we're looking at as of right now, we're not even that far into the year. We're just a handful of months into the year so far, 2024. If we project out, say, another six months, when we're in those critical time frame, uh, when they're uh, gathering that inflation data, and we're starting to see inflation bumping up against, say, 5%, 4.9%, 5%, somewhere around there, we don't know where it's going to be. I'm just simply saying, based on the trajectory as of right now, that's about where we're going to be sitting. About 4.9% is the projection as of now that's very high compared to where we are now, right? Well, that just simply means, think about it. I just gave you the numbers based on the 2.4%. If we double that, that's 4.8%. That's basically right in line with the 4.9. Well, guess what? That's That also means that those increases that I shared with you are also going to double. That's a lot more money for the beneficiary, right? So I'm not sure about you, but that's actually pretty exciting to see this, even though it's one of these situations where it's like, well, it's actually based on inflation. So when you look at it, it's really not the best situation because prices have uh, risen on basically everything. That just simply means all that extra money in the benefits uh, as far as the raise goes, it just simply means it flows right back to the retailer <laughs> who we're giving our money to, to buy the goods and services, right? So yeah, kind of depends. But remember this much as well. Long term, if we look at the big picture here, eventually inflation will come down. It's going to take a while, just being real with you. It's going to take a long time here. But if we look out in the future, remember the colas are permanent. It's a permanent raise to your benefit. So even though we might have to go through this rough time right now where inflation is high, colas are maybe bumping higher, Remember, the COLA will be high, and then again, your benefits will be increased accordingly forever, permanently, right? So that's the cool thing about it. Eventually, inflation will go back down to around that 2% rate, which is what the Federal Reserve wants. It'll take a while, but eventually it's going to get there. That simply means that your benefits have been increased substantially as a result of high inflation permanently, forever. Not bad when you think about it that way, right? And then, of course, one quick side note, which is the menace in the room, which is the Medicare Part B premium, which we have no idea what the, how much that's going to increase as far as uh, next year, 2025. But we know it's probably going to go up pretty substantially because it always does, right? It always does, except for, what was it, last year went down 3%. Yeah, that's rare. And then they raised it up again, about 6% for this year. So <laughs> go go figure that one out, right? Anyway, this is what I have for you here in this video. Again, as always, I want to watch all this for you and break it all down as we get these projections and these announcements so you can clearly see what's going on and how this may impact your benefit. But as of right now, we still have a few months to go, but we need to, uh, need to continue watching it because inflation continues to tick up. And as we see that, it's going to just mean more money in your pocket the closer and closer we get to those three very important months. Again, July, August, and September. Anyway, hope this helps you again. As always, please subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. Share the video with your friends on my social media and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including those I have linked down below in the description or at the top of the comment section or those that you see on your screen now. Enjoy, uh, have a fun day and uh, have a nice day and I'll catch you again later in the next video.